people outside in the rain be like. Now drop your weapons, or I'll kill him with this deadly jelly, baby. Kill him, then. What? Kill him, then. I don't take orders from anyone. Gentlemen, I've got news for you. This lighthouse is under attack, and by morning we might all be dead. <laughs> oh my god, that girl is so hot. Yeah, I agree. Um, aren't you asexual? I'm ace, not blind, you fucking moron. They'd uh, rather like you to address one of their meetings. Really? When? I think they suggested the uh, 15th. 15th, 15th. No, impossible. I'm fully booked for the next two centuries, but any time after that. This is me showing you my favorite texture. This is me showing you my special interests. This is me stimming. This is my favorite stim. This is me doing a fun dance. <laughs> Time to watch this criminally underrated sci-fi film. Let's go. Well, there goes any chance of me having any sleep for the next two weeks. I have seen this film three times already and that fucking bear still freaks me the frick out. So how are you? Uh, I'm well, thanks. What's new? Mm, not much. Well, what have you been up to? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, so this question is for people who live in the UK. Okay. Is healthcare really free? Like, you yes. don't spend any money when you go to the doctor or the emergency room. Like, that is correct. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Okay, do all people who live in the UK consider themselves British, or is it like... I don't think so, no. Just people from London are British? No, it's technically all of us. So, since you really can drink legally at 18, do they treat you more adult-like? Because, like, in America, an 18-year-old, 19, 20, kind of, like, yeah. that's a teenager to us. But, Although like, we don't act anywhere like near mature enough to actually drink? deserve it. Also, how are you able to watch American shows? Like, is it, like, a specific network that says, like, American shows, or they just mix it in? I think like, some channels just do a table? bit of a mixture. Comedy Central's is a good example. American history a requirement in school? No. And do you guys call school elementary, middle, or high school? Or like preschool, what do primary you guys school, secondary school, and then college and university? School? Like, is it grade school? Like, what do you call? Struggles of being an Aspie Part 1 Speaking in a monotonous tone and volume control Now, autistic people, for some reason, we struggle to put expression into our voices We have to really put in effort to talk with expression and even then it doesn't tend to work This is what we think we sound like This is just the best food I have ever had And here's what we actually sound like This is the best food I've ever had We really do try to sound normal, but in reality we're just speaking like a frickin' Dalek we also have no sense of the volume of our voice either. We have to really make a conscious effort to control it. So basically, all this means is that we have two main settings. Shouty Dalek and quiet text-to-speech voice. Subscribe to me on YouTube and like and follow for part two, goddammit! Struggles of being an Aspie part two. Alright, so I think everyone knows that autistic people have special interests. They're basically a thing, could be just about anything, literally that we'll get obsessed with. Like, mega obsessed. Research about it, constantly indulge in it, every possible opportunity, basically try to become experts in whatever it is. And can you guess what my special interest is?
Yep. Doctor Who. Uh, we're also quite prone to info dumping, where we just start to talk about our interests like constantly, and uh, yeah, if you're autistic, then comment your special interests below and like and follow for part two. Struggles of being an Aspie part three. So, masking. This is basically our way of blending in with all those neurotypicals. Since being ourselves often results in people thinking we're weird, we usually end up copying or mimicking personality traits of other people to try and blend in. Kind of like the alien from the thing. And this can often have mixed results, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Some of the time we do it so often that I think we forget what our actual personalities are as well, so we just end up being a walking combination of everyone around us, which can have some interesting outcomes. It pretty much just becomes like that one meme where it says, when you're hanging out with multiple friends and have to maintain the different personalities you have for each of them, it just ends up being a confusing mess, but hey, at least I don't look weird. Really? Struggles of being an Aspie part 4! So, so, most people are probably familiar with that autism stereotype of flapping your hands around. Well, that's just one form of a coping mechanism called stimming. Stimming is basically when we do little, usually repetitive actions to calm ourselves down when stressed. Hand flapping isn't the only way of doing it either. There's lots of ways that lots of people stim. For me personally, I usually opt to fiddle with small objects, so, you know, a bit more subtle. But it could really be anything that works to calm a person down. I'm pretty sure fidget cubes and fidget spinners were invented for this very thing. Of course, the annoying thing about it is that people tend to give you funny looks if you stim in public. You know, the place where we're more likely to get stressed. Ignorant people take the piss, but really, it's better to have someone do a weird but harmless thing for a few minutes than to have them overwhelmed and upset on the bus journey home, while old man Bob and the bingo ladies are two rows in front of you. Like for part five, even though I'll probably make it regardless. Bye! Struggles with being an Aspie part 5. Now, we all like a bit of food, right? Well, for us that can be a bit more complicated. Because our senses can often be more sensitive, in this case focusing on taste, this very regularly leads to a lot of autistic people being very fussy eaters. There's some foods we despise and just will not knowingly eat at all. For me, this is like onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, peanut butter to name a few. They can also be safe foods that we'll eat all the time because we know we'll like them and we'll have no trouble with them. And this brings me neatly on to a cry for help. I have a serious cheese and cracker addiction. Can someone please help? Thanks. Like and follow for part six. Struggles of being an Aspie part six. So apparently it's normal when talking to someone to stare at them straight in the eye. Am I doing it right? But as an Aspie, this is just complete whack. It's like, look at me in the eyes when I'm talking to you. Uh, um, no. While it might be a normal piece of social etiquette for neurotypicals, for us it's just plain uncomfortable. I don't know why this is the case, it just is. See you in the next video, guys. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago I made a post on r slash roast me, and um, I made a YouTube video about it, and uh, I thought I'd just show you some of the best comments. Get off Reddit and go eat some food. Say goodbye to losing your V-card. <laughs> your face is more disappointing than 2020. <laughs> this one really hit hard. I bet your mum tells you it's not your fault with the Asperger's. <laughs> you look like you watch female Doctor Who unironically. So what do I do?